Hi, this is Mr. Barr, and this is the Math 8 Goal Number 9, Pythagorean Theorem Pretest Version 1.1. Goal, I can use the Pythagorean Theorem to solve real-life problems. All right, Pythagorean Theorem. We use it for right triangles. This is a right triangle. If we have any of the two sides, we can find the third side using Pythagorean Theorem, which looks like this. It looks like a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I'm given the hypotenuse right there. So 10 squared equals 6 squared plus x squared. So I square both of those. 100 equals 36 plus x squared. So x squared has to be 64. 36 plus 64 is 100. And then I take the square root of 64 and I get an 8. So 6, this would be 8. And 10. There we go. Let's do it again. This time, I've given you two of the legs, a leg and a leg. So I'm going to square this, square that, add them together, and take the square root. 7 squared plus 24 squared equals x squared, or let's put that as an x. So 49 plus 576. So x squared equals 625. I take the square root of that. That means x is 25. We're going to do this again. This time, they said that a equals 8. Well, that's... 8 right there. It's a little bit hard to read, but 8. B is the unknown. And C equals 17. So this squared plus that squared is going to be that squared. We know this is a right angle. So 17 squared equals 8 squared plus B squared. Square them, square them. So 289 minus the 64 gives me 225. The square root of 20, 225 is 15. A piece of wood is leaning against the side of a building. So here's the building. There's the piece of wood leaning against it. And I know that the wood is 8 feet long. There's my 8 feet. And that the base of the wood is 3 feet away from the wall. So 3 feet there. I'm going to use Pythagorean Theorem and find this guy. So 8 squared. This guy squared plus that guy squared equals that guy squared. So x squared plus 3 squared equals 8 squared, x squared plus 9 equals 64, da, 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 da. Had to do a little bit of rounding right there. Had to take the square root of 55, and that was 7.4. Number 6. A triangle has sides of 8, 12, and 15. Is this a right triangle? Explain your reasoning. Well, the two smaller sides are, yes, yeah, the two smaller sides are the legs and the larger one is the hypotenuse. So 8 squared plus 12 squared has to equal 15 squared. Does it? 8 squared plus 12 squared? 208 does not equal 225. Since they do not equal each other, this is not a right triangle. No, because 8 squared plus 12 squared does not equal 15 squared. We just did our basic. Now on to our proficient. Find the distance between the two points. I plot the two points. I turn it into a right triangle. I then square them, add them together. So 10 squared plus 7 squared. Go through the math. Take the square root of that. Get that guy right there. One day I decided to go for a hike. I'm going to use this graph paper to explain what's happening here. So it says... And I know you can't read it, but I'll read it to you. I hiked three miles north and five miles west. Three miles north, one, two, three, five miles west. One, two, three, four, five. And I came to a large tree. Tree. Next, I hiked four miles south and one mile east. Four miles south, one mile east. And I came to a waterfall, W. Then I hiked to a log cabin that was three miles east and two miles north of my starting point. Let's go back to my starting point. The log cabin is three miles east, one, two, three, and two miles north, one, two. There's the cabin from my starting point. So how far is it from my starting point to the tree? So the tree to the starting point, this is a right triangle. I turn into a right triangle. It's three up and one, two, three, four, five over. So I use five and three, which you can't see. 5 plus 3, 5 squared plus 3 squared, I do my Pythagorean theorem, and I ended up with 6. Which is incorrect. That should be a 34. Let me get a pencil so I can correct that.
right? 25 plus 9 is 34. And the square root of 34 is some decimal 5.8. There we go. Part two, how many miles south and how many miles west is the waterfall from the starting point? So the waterfall is one mile south and one, two, three, four miles west. One mile south, four miles west. The next one is actually a bunch of problems in one. How far is the cabin from the starting point? Okay, well the cabin is one, two, three over two up. Three squared plus four squared, nine, excuse me, three squared plus two squared, nine plus four, so nine plus four is 13, and the square root of 13 is 3.6, but I'll check that, 3.6. Good, how many miles in total did I hike in order to get to the cabin? Well, I went to the tree, I went to the waterfall, I went to the cabin. Well, I already know tree, starting to the tree is 5.8. So I have to correct that. That's a 5.8 right there. Tree to the waterfall. So I did a Pythagorean right here. I did a four and a one right there. A four and a one. Four and a one, Pythagorean theorem. That gave me, oh my goodness. This is a 16. which gives me a square root of 17. I'm really messing up this problem. And that square root of 17 is a little bit bigger than four, about 4.1. So 5.8, 4.1, and then I went waterfall to cabin. So waterfall to cabin is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3. So 7 and 3, 49 and 9, takes me to 58. Square root of 58 is 7.6. Good. Now I have to add up all those numbers to get my total distance. And since two of these numbers are wrong, it's going to change things a little bit. So let's fix that. So 5.8 plus 4.1 plus 7.6, 5.8 plus 4.1 plus 7.6 is 17.5 miles. Which you can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. So I found this distance, that distance, that distance. I added them all together to get my total distance, which is 17.5 miles. That's how far it is to the, the total length of my hike. Okay, that was number nine. I still have another two to go, I think. This one, it says choose values in such a way that I get a right triangle. Well, the most popular right triangle is the three, four, five triangle. So I went with three, four, five, three, four, five. That's nine plus 16 equals 25. It worked. The graph below shows a math classroom. What is the distance between the whiteboard and the door? So here's the whiteboard. There's the door. That's one, two, three, so three squared. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 squared. So 3 squared, which is 9, plus 10 squared, which is 100. So I took the square root of 109, and I got 10.4. So this distance right there is 10.4. Thanks for watching. Bye.